as your website grows and becomes more complex, we might want to take advantage of some of the advanced features available in Akiba Solo to exclude some data from the backup itself. To begin with, let's look at the database tables exclusion. Here we can see listed all the tables that exist in the database. Now, not all of these might be related to the website we are backing up. For example, I have the database tables for a WordPress site as well as the PHP BB3 site I am backing up. Akiba Solo is very clever. If I click on this exclude non-core tables, it will go through the entire list of database tables and exclude all the ones that are not part of the PHP BB3 installation to be excluded from the backup. As you can see, all of the WordPress tables have now been flagged to be excluded from the backup. I can also mark some tables in a slightly different way by clicking here. If I want to include the table but not include the contents of that table. For example, I do need the sessions table but I don't need to back up the sessions themselves. If you want to see a list of all the tables that are going to be excluded, you can click here. We can see the tables that are going to be excluded from the backup and those tables that will be included but without their contents. If you want to change one of the settings, you can click on the delete button to remove it from the exclusion. We can see we have a files and directories exclusion as well. Akiba Solo is clever and recognises itself and automatically excludes itself from the site backup. Over here, we can see I have one particularly large file which is an mp3 that I don't need to back up. I'm going to click on this icon to exclude that individual file. Now in this site, inside my files folder, I have a large number of files. They're pretty big and I may not want to include those in my backup as I've got a copy of them elsewhere. If I click on this icon here, I can exclude this directory. I could just skip the subdirectories by clicking here instead and keeping the main one or choose to keep the directories and exclude the content, which is what I'm going to do. Again, we can see a list of all the files that we've set to be excluded by clicking on the List All Exclusions button. You can see I've set it to exclude the files inside the files directory and the large mp3. I can now return to the dashboard and perform a new backup. Any backup will now exclude those database tables that are not related to this PHP BB3 website and the contents of the files directories and the individual files which I decided I didn't want to include.